Hello, this is Retro Marky, and no, I don't have a terminal illness, I just have a terminal. And here it is. This is an Ampex 210, a uh, nice addition to my collection. And I thought I'd give you a quick uh, tour of it. You go around the back and start off. We don't have a great deal, we have an on off switch here, serial port 25 pinned in here. Another serial port which is used for output to a printer. A fuse uh, box here with screw type round thingy jig. And a cable, and that's about it. On the back, we've got Ampex. And if we go around to the front, we've got a keyboard which is damaged here. Um, but I've had to do that on purpose because I need access to the H key and uh, I cleaned it up but it's, it's a little bit faulty but uh, by not having the key on the key it does actually work so quick demonstration if I turn the terminal on we get a beautiful amber screen and if I hit escape and V if I can do that oops okay let's just reboot this thing a little bit oh there we go and that's the test screen you get on the terminal. So here you can see that all the characters are working, you can see the reverse video, etc, etc. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? These amber screens are completely fantastic. And the best thing, believe it or not, is the scrolling. But uh, I'll come to that in a moment. So if we reboot this thing. Down here we've got a status bar, which I've put permanently on. Um, this enables you to change things like the protocol, full or half duplex, UK keyboard, keyboard on, auxiliary which is off, uh, graphic on or off. And then it took me a while to realise this, but you hit down. Whoops, so shift setup, here we go, hit down, stats on. Uh, normal video as opposed to reverse as you saw in the demo screen uh, you can change the cursor type and I've got smooth scrolling on and also the keyboard click and repeat is off go down again we've got the time save enabled which means if I change these settings then I can save it in, in the I guess it's like a CMOS battery uh, these things do have a CPU and some RAM in them they are more than just dumb um, I mean, they're not super intelligent, but they're a bit dumb. Bell on off and keyboard return with line feed. And another menu down here where you can select board rates, uh, bit stops, parities, and that kind of thing. The frequency of the refresh rate. Uh, we've got a host 1200 board. I'm going to leave that on and I'm going to connect a modem I've actually made myself and bodged into a US Robotics case, which is the original modem I had back in the day, the first modem I ever bought for PC. This is back when the internet was a nice, clean, healthy, non-toxic place. Remember that? Yeah, a long time ago. Uh, so that's got a serial port and USB. And that's because this is an ESP8266 that I made. So I make my own modems now. I've been making some for the C64. And um, I've made this also for the B and PC. So what we're going to do is try that out. Now, where are we on the screen? So what I'm going to do quickly, excuse me, while I do this, is power everything on and off, give the terminal a chance to take a breather, and then give this a second or two. And being a video, it won't work. Oh, it does work. There we go. House, friends, release, simple Wi-Fi mode, and blah, 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 connected to my router. So this is a 1984, 85 terminal connected to Wi-Fi. I'm afraid I can't do that. Quite mind blowing. I do eighty dollar H, I think it is. There we go. You can see all the different commands and look at the scrolling. I said, look at it. Isn't that just absolutely wonderful? These screens are just beautiful quality. A little bit like the Amstrad PCW 9256, 82512, all that little series of computers. You get this beautiful screen. Of course, that was the Amstrad's green screen. This is amber, which I just absolutely love. 
So what I'm going to do is uh, pause the video and go and find the address and then we'll connect to a BBS. Imagine that. We won't have to because I'm going to show you. So anyway. Okie dokie, let's uh, connect dura-bbs.net So a bunch of these online, this is just a random one. Uh, but a lot of them use colour, which is going to be a problem. This one is not a problem. What's this light all about? There we go. Could not detect as and see or pro term. Will default to text only. No, we don't have that. No, we don't have that because it's an old terminal. And we only have 40 columns on this. But uh, still good, still all good. Apologies if you can't see the text very well. Um, we can go as a guest, I believe. Oh, I love this keyboard. I love this terminal. There we go. Look at that scrolling action. Hit enter to continue. I will. There we go, the last uh, guess online. I've got 90 minutes, thank you so much. This is wonderful. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Oh, right, uh, help? Yes, give me some help. Yeah, I really recommend not recording on your camera. I'm just uh, camera on your camera on your phone, I mean. It's gonna focus? Yeah, ish, not really, but system. So I'm not gonna show you too much. Um, you can do this on your modern PC as well. And there are some BBSs with colour and graphics that are probably a lot more interesting, but this is as much as I can do with this thing. System information, quick look at that. Runs on Apple to e communicating with a Pi and a Haze modem. Absolutely fantastic. More, oh yes, give me more. Oh, ooh, Amazon. No, I'm not going there to Amazon. No, 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 no. So there we go. That's pretty much it. That is my terminal with uh, more or less working keyboard. Shame. I might have to see if I can just glue the key on there somehow. Uh, I'd love to buy a new keyboard or replacement keyboard, I should say, but that's not going to happen because they cost an absolute fortune. And this uses the RG45, which are really hard to find. And I've looked into converting to PS2 keyboards, um, and that doesn't seem to be much of an option either. Um, there are different protocols in these terminals and keyboards, so even with connectors and adapters, I doubt that would work. Uh, if I used a PC keyboard, also bear in mind a lot of these keys don't exist on a PC such as no scroll, um, we've got a special escape key here and a bunch of keys here like line feed and break, delete character, setup, delete line, all sorts of things. So you really do need, I would say, a dedicated keyboard for these uh, and it's all a lot of money. Uh, this wasn't a lot of money at all, uh, so thanks to Ian for selling this to me at a really, really ridiculously cheap price. Uh, I do love it, it's just a really nice way and I, if I can get it working on my, that's a beeping for, hello, if I can get it working with my SBCs, my small board computers I've been building, I've built two so far and bought another one and I'm probably going to build an Apple One clone next, then that'd be fantastic, I just need to figure out how to change the board rate. So there it is, that's my terminal, so I hope you enjoyed that and uh, if you used a terminal back in the day, let me know. Let me know what your experiences are. Let me know if you'd still use one today and what you think about all of this. And uh, apologies for the shaky camera work, but uh, I won't be doing it like this again. Yeah, Retro Marquee, out.